I was younger, I always thought, you know, the, the magic of the force was just so cool. And certainly, you know, what young kid doesn't love a lightsaber? So I teach chemical engineering, material science, and we do research. We work with light, we work with plasmas. You know, watching Star Wars and other uh, science fiction movies uh, gets, gets people to really use their imagination. It leads them to start to ask questions, and that's really the start of science, is asking good questions. You know, one of the most iconic things from the movies is really the lightsaber. And, you know, it's nothing more than light, uh, but if it's just light, it doesn't really work. You could think about using a plasma, which is an ionized gas. It's actually the fourth state of matter. And this also can cut through materials, um, but it wouldn't interact in that sort of solid way, like a solid sword. Now, there are other challenges too. These would need really high amounts of energy, and so you would need really powerful batteries. You don't want to have to have this plugged into the wall. You can only uh, you know, fight with somebody when you can both plug in. Not really possible yet. So I think even though we can't make the true lightsaber today, I think it's still you know, fun to think about how could you make this and what kinds of science do we need to develop to make this possible. Yeah. 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 We can kind of crop, we can just crop, crop it.